Hello and welcome to all in this SAP tutorial. Today we are going to discuss how to fetch the list of the purchase order on the different different selection criteria basis. So for this the transaction code is ME2NC. <coughs> we will get the purchase order data on the behalf of list. First of all we have different different uh, options. So the list will properly come in the ALV grid control format. So in the list of controls, scope of list, there is a different different scope of list in our SAP uh, MM. So ALV is a very good format. <coughs> all the data will come in the horizontal manner and you will uh, apply filter and all the criteria on the different different type. You have lots of options like for example, purchasing documents. If you have list of the purchasing document in Excel, then you can upload from here. You can directly upload from here, upload from clipboard. Okay. Uh, purchasing organization. For example, you have purchasing organization uh, 2000, 1000, and 001. So I'm just want to uh, create the um, want to get the list of the purchase order in the decentralized purchase organization. Okay. There is a various selection parameters like selection parameters lies. Uh, oh. Open invoices, the purchase order which is open for invoices, open good receipt, open receipt exist. So GR blog, open good receipt, good receipt exist, GR exist written, good receipt pending, good receipt started, invoice verification pending, invoice processing started. So on the basis of the different different uh, parameters, you can get the list of the purchase order. Okay, in the document type we have. We are creating the purchase order in the different different types. For example, uh, in the purchase order, we are we will we are frequently creating educational order, emergency order, intra company, inter company, intra GST and purchase order, intra company, inter GST and purchase order, import purchase order, need base order, non POC orders, service order, inter company, inter GST and orders, third party sales order. And number of the orders. So, for which order you want to get the report, you will click on this. Okay. Uh, and in the purchasing group, for example, there are lots of purchasing group is available. MM Circle, corporate, factories, SSA, operation, admin, civil, electrical, IT, marketing, operation, NGN, repairs, and all training centers. So, there is a various purchasing group. For which purchasing you, you want to get the purchase data, you can fill. You can fill your plant. You can apply item category. So consignment, third party says D services and all. Okay. So in the supplying plant, material group, document dates and all. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> for example, I'm just want to get the data for the plant 3002. And uh, account assignment category, we are uh, all the purchase order which are created for co against cost centers. Okay, and the item category is D. Item category is D. Okay, and the uh, document date is first uh, uh, January two thousand eighteen to thirty. 1st March 2018 fine for just I want to get the data from this period okay you can uh, fill the vendor code here supplying plant here material group here if any text you can mention here okay and in the drop down option you have lot of option lots of option once we create the purchase order we have two option purchasing document header and purchasing document item on the basis of those data purchasing document header or purchasing document item you can get the report in the very precise manner purchasing document company code purchasing document category purchasing document type uh, status created on vendor code language key terms of payments you have lots of option if you have maintained all these data in your uh, SAP purchase order, quotation date, salesperson, supplying vendor, customers, GR messages. There are lots of options. For example, I just want to get the data 
uh, in uh, status see status in the status uh, purchase order lots of option so you can choose these purchase order directly okay and uh, for example you have you know the vendor code you can apply also the vendor code here okay and lots of parameters so you can also utilize these parameters withholding tax tax types and all okay again go in that uh, dynamic selection and in the purchasing document type you have purchasing document rfq status material company code plant storage location and uh, material group target quantity order quantity unit price quantity conversion net order price price units tax code okay so on the basis of these parameter you can also get the data i'm just going to execute this uh, report okay it will take some time and in the system you will get the data regarding the same okay wait for a while we are uh, fetching the data on the basis of purchasing organization 2000 scope of list alv plant is 3002 item category is d account assignment category is k so we will get the data on the behalf of that So wait for a while, system will generate the report of all the PO matching these criteria. okay. This is a very important uh, tab, this is the dynamic selection tab, you can utilize this tab uh, for your uh, fetching the data you can also execute this report in your background okay and uh, in the background option okay so scope of list ALV is very important after getting the report I will explain each and everything and uh, plant is 3002 item category is D and account assignment category is K and all okay and <clears throat> this is the report that we fetch on the basis of applying criteria okay and we have different different options in this uh, report okay like that uh, we have uh, purchasing document this is the PO number this is the document date this is the supplying plan this is the purchasing group this is the short text okay these are the price name of the vendors and all on the basis of procurement type is not available at that time you can uh, also you can go in this uh, in this field in the layout most of the option is not available in your uh, report so for example you you want to include the purchase document type you can select this and include in your report so purchase document purchasing document is available in your list see uh, purchasing document is available in your list C okay so you can extract this record in the Excel go in the list go in the export go in the local file or in the spreadsheet you can export this for example um, you just want to get the filter out data of on the basis of price the price which is go uh, select the net price and uh, the purchase order which is between 1 lakh to 2 lakh 
So all the purchase order which is between 1 lakh to 2 lakh is uh, filtered out. See, these are all the purchase order which is in between 1 lakh to 2 lakh. You can get and export this. Okay. So thank you all for watching this SAP tutorial. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for our latest video updates and uh, this is the way how can you utilize our SAP system which is very useful for analysis, tracking and watching all the status. Okay. <coughs> Please share this knowledge. Please share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues because knowledge sharing is very important and uh, more and more uh, person will get benefited okay through this sap tutorial thank you have a nice day see you in the next video